Hello there, Mr. Vlad here. We are about to do a tactical alert here in Warframe because it just popped up out of nowhere. I randomly logged into Warframe just to see what's up, you know, maybe do a couple of missions, maybe do some arc, 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 arc wing missions. That was ridiculously hard to say for no actual reason. Anyway, I'm kind of hyper because, you know, I like I like tactical alerts. Some of the mountains really cool. But uh, yes, for this tactical alert, we require to have a conclave rating below 800, and I'm at 801, so I'm going to have to remove something. I am going to remove steel fiber. Yes? Will that be enough? That was actually quite a lot. Anyway, uh, what I did was I removed my secondary and my melee weapon, uh, just because with the Boltor, I don't really have to worry about weapon and damage and stuff like that. I uh, pretty much removed all the upgrades from uh, all the mods from my sweeper, and I removed some of the mods from my carrier. Actually, I'm just gonna slap in spare parts for a bit of extra conclave rating. It's one conclave rating, it's fucking worth it. If it dies, it can give me some cool stuff, why not? I've removed the striker, and I've removed, uh, I believe, I just removed steel fiber, which is armor, so it's no big whoop. Um, I'm guessing it's also easy to do, considering that you need to have a low conclave rating. I'm bringing in frost because I have no idea what kind of mission type it is. I really, it, I just have no idea. Um, at 5 of whatever, you get 30,000 credits. At 10, you get 5 Oricon Cells, which I really like, because I need Oricon Cells, as sad as that is. And at 20, I get an Oricon Catalyst Blueprint, which I do enjoy very much, because that is used for weapons, to supercharge your weapons. And if you're not familiar with the term, supercharging your weapons uh, makes them have twice the capacity of whatever capacity they have. If they're level 15, they're going to have 30 instead of 15 capacity, and so on and so forth. Uh, you never lose that once you actually supercharge a weapon. Now, cold revenge, here we go. It's on Europa, might it's gonna be cold, that's for sure. I'm going to try and solo it because, well, Frost, man. <laughs> Whatever it is, he's probably gonna be able to take care of it. Now, let's see what the heck happens. Hopefully it's not something like each run gives you one point because that would probably be ridiculous. And I don't know what the points are representing and I'm gonna yawn now. Ooh, excuse me. Anyway, like I said, I don't know what the points are representing, but I hope I can find out soon enough. All right, what do we need to do? We have multiple targets of interest for this mission. Bring them all to me. It's a capture mission? Hmm, so it's a capture mission. It's not too bad. I think each capture is probably going to be one point or something like that. Oh, that's a lot of Eczemai. And I'm taking damage because of the heat generators. Uh, if you're not near a heat generator, you will take damage from, like, the, the cold. These are all Eczemai. That's weird. I'm not... Guardian Eczemai. Eczemus. I don't know what they're called. So it's just... So far, it seems like a regular-ass... Um, regular-ass capture mission, if only the Lotus wouldn't keep talking over me. Move on. Look, Rebecca, I like I like your voice, but please let me do my commentary. Okay, that wasn't an XMI, and you are not an XMI either. I'm trying to quick melee while I don't have a melee weapon. Oh, that's a lot of XMI. I mean, this looks like a great place to actually get um, Oberon parts if you need them. I just realized that I can't even break containers because of um, my lack of melee weapons. I mean, I can shoot them to break them, but that doesn't seem like a very efficient use of ammo. But let us move on. I'm just going to take a quick run to grab these guys. I hope that... I hope it's not like uh, each capture gives you one point. Because that means you need to run it ten times, basically. Oh. Okay, so... They have these things. Which are guarding them. Those need to be destroyed, and then you can actually hurt him. I'm being hurt pretty bad while in the process, so this is not too easy of a mission, because I just almost died, and I have no energy to put up a frost bubble. This is ever so troublesome. Let's Target grab this captured. guy and uh, slow down a bit, because I just took a bunch of damage. And I do have rejuvenation, so it shouldn't be too bad. Handspring, that's pretty cool. I do like me some handspring. Hello. These all seem to be corpus techs, and that's very, very irritating, because they hurt like hell. Oh, these are using the snipers. This seems like a really annoying mission, honestly. 
Well, at least I have enough for a frost bubble now, so I'm going to pop that right on top of the bastard so he slows down. So I can destroy the little ospreys. So apparently you need to destroy the ospreys to be able to hurt him at all. Or the, the capture target at all. And that's a bit, of, a bit of a problem with everybody and their mom shooting you. I'm just sliding down this thing like it's, it's what I'm supposed to do. I just tried to do a slam attack again. I'm trying to do things with a weapon I don't have. Alright, let's try and take care of these. Man, I could have used a better weapon for this. Like some moves. A head scan weapon. But then again, I don't really have any good head scan weapons. I do have the Latron, I guess. Alright, this wasn't as bad because he wasn't surrounded by other... by his friends. Alright, there we go. He's floating in the air a bit, but that's that's okay, because we're playing Warframe. We can't expect everything to be perfect. Mission complete. The captive has been don't get me wrong. Please don't misunderstand well me. I love this game. This game is amazing. But uh, the glitches are always funny. The glitches? I can't believe I just said that. At any rate, let's see how many points this mission yields once I get to extraction. Which seems to be right about here. It's upstairs. This way. Frost X and Y over here. There we go. I'm calling X and Y. I guess I, I am convinced that there is a... No, you don't get to fire up that alarm. Is this the way? This is the way. Perfect. I think this is extraction as well. Where are you going? Is this extraction? It is extraction. Now let's see how many points we get for finishing this up. A lot of eczema here. This is a good place to get some Oberon parts. Mission complete. The captive has Oh, so we got two mission points. score for well getting done. two of those. That's pretty cool. Maybe it gets harder and harder as you progress. But uh, so far it seems that for each capture you do, you get one point on the mission score. I think you need to get to both captures, otherwise you can't finish the mission anyway. So... It's two points per mission, it means ten runs. Ten runs isn't that bad, that was pretty quick. Since it's a capture mission, now I know I can just bring in Rhino. And make it a lot easier on myself. And uh, there you go, that's how you do the Cold Revenge thingamabobber. You just have to do a bunch of those. Also another alert popped up, Orc and Reactor Blueprint, which I do not mind at all. I am going to go grab that, and I'm not, I'm honestly not sure why this is happening. I am honestly not sure. I think it might be because we set that uh, Guinness World Record for most. Um, the biggest gathering of people in a uh, video game wearing false mustaches. Guinness World Record. Some crazy stuff. And uh, using Rhino puts us a bit over what we are supposed to get. Now what gives me a bunch of Conclave? Let's take off Blind Rage because that is quite irritating. It actually makes me angry because it's uh, whatchamacallit. Let's put on flow instead. That sounds like a better idea. To have a bunch of extra energy. Hmm, I might need to just unequip my carrier completely because I don't really need it. There we go. Now I'm under the conclave rating. And I will just resume running these missions. I just kind of let this video drag on for no reason. But as I was saying, so, a quick recap. Shut up, Ordis. Seriously. I don't fucking care. Anyway, now that I'm done being angry at Ordis, the tactical alert, the tactical alert, Cold Revenge, are uh, capture missions, and each capture gives you two points, one point for each suspect or whatever that is you're chasing after, and uh, that's it. You need to run it ten times and get it done and over with. I'm going to continue running these until I get that lovely, lovely Auric and Catalyst blueprint, and then I'm just probably going to turn and do the. Enceladus, Enceladus, Saturn thing for the Orican Reactor Blueprint. This is some great stuff right here. I love it. Anyway, if this video helped you figure out something, please do leave a like. It is greatly appreciated. It takes a second of your time, but helps me out a shit ton. And if you feel so inclined, do subscribe. There will be more content, as more content is released for Warframe. Toodaloo.